Good morning. My name is Haley and welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to document my cross stitch journey for myself and for my children. Uh, I find this a little awkward doing, you know, talking to myself on a screen. So uh, being a Trekkie fan, I've decided that what I would do is pretend that like I'm on a spaceship and that I am recording videos for my children. So, um, yeah, so with that in mind, we're going to, uh, I'm going to start how the format of how I'm hoping the, my future videos will go. So here we go. So fabric cotton thread. This is the journey of an avid cross-stitcher. Her lifetime mission to stitch beautiful designs, to seek peace and tranquility with needle and thread, and to boldly stitch her stash one stitch at a time. So, something silly and cute. Stitcher's Log, star date 24030.931. It is the beginning of January, and usually what I do with the new year is that I will take a new start in one of my old whips, and I will work on them throughout the month. So there, since there's 31 days in January, one project will get 15 days, the other one will get 16 days. And then when February comes around, I will do another new start and add another whip. So I'll be working on four projects during the month. So 28 days in February, four projects, they each get seven days. And I can kind of, I continue that throughout the year. And usually by about August, September, I'll be giving each pro, I'll have enough projects, I'm only giving them about three days out of the month but um, I do find that I've finished things more than I used to and um, I can make good progress on lots of projects that I really love stitching on. Um, this year was a little different. Um, I decided back in de December that I would um, do like a JBW January thing where I only stitch on JBW designs. And then um, uh, a Heaven and Earth Sal was announced and well I jumped on that wagon and I signed up to do the Sal. Um, there were two uh, Hade challenges put out there by Stitch Talk on Facebook. Um, or one is to stitch on a hade for a hundred days. Uh, there's also a challenge to, to, um, 365 days of cross stitch. So this year, instead of just having two projects for January, I am working on two whips, one, um, an ongoing, I'm doing an ongoing JBW designs and I am working on the Hade Sal. So these are the projects that I'm working on for January. So for the Hade Sal, I chose to do this one, the big red mushroom from Hade. Um, it's from the Merry Mushroom Village. I decided to do that one. I love the color red, and that's a lot of beautiful red right there. So, um, since I have other projects going on that I'm trying to finish and make some good progress on, I gave myself the goal of 100 stitches a day, and this is the progress that I have. Um, I'm giving, um, my goal each day is to do a hundred stitches and um, I'm so far you know keeping up with that goal 
I've had a couple of days where I've been really tired. And so I've sat down and only put like six stitches in. But no, that's where I am with that one. Um, I did decide to go ahead and work on JBW designs for January. And the first one I did was French Country Ghost. And I did complete it. I did that about a week ago. So I'm really proud with that. Um, this was stitched on some fabric I had in my stash called uh, Annabella. Yeah, so this was stitched on Annabella 28 count in the color of potato. I can't, t you probably may not be able to tell, but that's kind of like a, it reminds me of those old rusk sack type of fabrics, but I'm pretty proud of that. I've already got a finish for 2024, so that's great. Um, the other project that I worked on for um, JBW Designs, or that I have started, I decided I would work on these Christmas ornaments out of um, one of her books. Um, I am currently working on the reindeer heart. In which you can't see very well from that cover. And you won't be able to tell much from this either. But um, here's my progress on JBW. And this is the one project that I'm doing for the 365 days of cross stitch, the JBW designs. And um, like last night, I was so tired. I just sat down and put in two stitches and then I was done with that. So, um, and, um, I'll tell you what I do with these sheets. As you can tell, that's, that's an enlarged photocopy of the cover of her little booklet. So, and I'll tell you what I do with the sheets here in just a little bit. So, th the other project that I have been madly trying to finish is a Glendon Place project. <clears throat> At the end of... 2023 I started working on this um, uh, monogamously trying to finish it it's a gorgeous it's a gorgeous piece and on it I am using the called for fabric which is 28 count white opalescent Lugana I was hoping to get it finished by um, this weekend, but it didn't happen very well. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all in there so you can see it. And I feel like I'm crooked. I apologize. But um, it's beautiful. I've got just some of the beading left to do. So I will probably uh, finish that up within the next. Last whip that I have in my rotation, this is called um, Van Gogh Never Met the Fellowship, and it's done by a company called Unconventional Cross Stitch. Um, if you're not familiar with Unconventional Cross Stitch, they do full coverage projects like Heaven and Earth Designs, but they're a little, they're different. Um, you'll find more like dragons and skulls and geeky, nerdy type stuff from unconventional, st uh, um, unconventional stitch than you would um, what I consider heaven and earth designs. Uh, but So you may want to check them out if you're looking for something different. I've been working on this since March of 2022. <clears throat> and this is what she looks like. 
I don't know why I feel so crooked. But anyway, here we go. So that's where I am with that. I've gotten four pages completed, and so I'm working on the next four. Um, so I've got the, I'm started working on the, um, I'm now working on those mountains right now. So that's pretty exciting to get to there. And I can't wait to get down to where I'm actually stitching uh, the fellowship on there. I think this is going to be a really cool piece whenever I complete it. <clears throat> so those are my projects. Um, I'm, I'm not wanting these videos to be really long. I'm just kind of wanting to check in and show people, you know, my progress and stuff. So, you know, just a quick little snack for people. Not a feature-length film. I love watching those really long YouTube videos, but when they're really long, you can only watch so many. And so I'm wanting to keep mine short and sweet. Uh, just, you know, a check-in. This is what I'm working on. Um, I told you I was going to tell you what I do with the sheets. So with the JBW, so this is the little booklet, and I took it and I made a blow-up so it's on a regular size piece of paper. So a lot of people use journals and book of days and stuff to um, keep track of their projects. Well, what I found is that um, it wasn't good for me to get a good consolidation of where information was about my projects. So I started making photocopies of the, the covers of the projects. And then on the back, I write down all the information about, you know, the projects that I've done when I started, when I finished, what fabric I'm using, and um, when, yeah, when I finished it. Um, it's a nice way all the information is consolidated and in one place. For people who know, if you look here on the side, yes, I had a friend who got me into Happy Planner. So I have the Happy Planner punch. So I punch them and I put them in my Happy Planner. Um, and then I have my planner divided into things I want to stitch, what I am stitching, um, new starts. And then I can eat very easily take them out and then move them from, uh, you know, if it goes from a whip to being finished, I can move it to that. So this is how I keep track of all the information for my projects. Um, so uh, coming up in my cross-stitch life, I, I am going to the Bare Bones Retreat here in San Antonio. Um, that's going to start later today. I'm going to get with friends. And the retreat actually starts tomorrow. But, you know, all your cross-stitch buddies come in the day before. So we're going to get together uh, starting today and then spend the next few days stitching. Um, if you've been watching the weather, or you may not care <laughs> about <laughs> what's going on in the south, but we're, gonna, we're expecting a severe cold front to come in on Sunday. So I expect that on Sunday I will be curled up on my couch stitching under a bunch of blankets, just trying to stay warm and hoping that the power grid doesn't fail. Um, I'm going to probably finish up my Glendon Pace uh, project. I don't think I told you the name of that. It's called Hungarian Folk Art Number no. 4. I just have some beading left on that. I really was hoping to get it done before I went to the retreat so I could, you know, brag about my finish for the year. So I'm hoping to have that finished soon. I will continue to work on the JBW uh, design stuff. Um, the uh, the Van Gogh Never Met the Fellowship. That's an ongoing project. I won't finish that anytime soon. Um, I'll continue to work on the Merry Mushroom. I will probably put some pretty, I'll probably make some pretty good progress on that at the retreat. 
<clears throat> I can't believe there are people who are already completed with their three pages that they got on January 1st. This is January the 11th, and they have finished three full pages of full coverage cross stitch. I don't, I don't know how they do that, <laughs> but you know, that's wonderful. I'm very happy for them. Um, I probably will go into my stash, stash and figure out a new start. I don't know what that will be. So um, I don't know how often I will do these videos. Um, I may not have a lot of content and you may not want to just see the same projects over and over again, but it, you know, you know, I'll record my journey as I, as I go on and we'll just go from there. Um, this is my first video, so be kind. I don't know why I felt like I was lopsided and crooked and I kept having to straighten myself up. I don't know. Um, you know, it's my first video. It'll be my first time trying to edit a video. So uh, just be kind if you watch it and I'm gonna, it's very awkward <laughs> and uh, you know, like a first season of a television series. First season's the first season. This is my first video. So they'll just keep getting better as they go along. So thank you for joining me. If you kind of want to keep, you know, follow me, subscribe or not. Uh, and then uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.